Hello, welcome back to another video. Uh, a little while back, um, a couple of months ago actually, I did turn around and say that when we reach 100 subscribers, I would do one about all the different tools I use and why I like them and what they do. Um, and now we're up to 120 something subscribers. Um, I thought it's about time I, I actually got on and done it. So this is the tools I actually, there's one more. Um, there we go. So, these are the tools that I use every single day to make the signs. Um, you don't need much more than this. Uh, if you're just going to start out, this is really all that you do need. So we'll start at this end and we'll work our way across and I'll explain what they are, what they do and why I use them. First up we've got squeegees. These are what you use to apply the vinyl and to make sure it's really, really stuck down. So you just hold it in your hand and you use it like that. So you would have seen me use one of these on virtually every single sign that we make. You can grab these in packs of three for just a couple of quid. They're not hugely expensive. And then I've also got this larger one, which is what we use when we do the signs which are mainly red and they're all covered. Um, I'll grab one out. There we go. Where we do ones like that, where it's covered in a large amount of all the vinyl um, and we just use one of these and that just helps us just scrape it down. The only problem I find with this over that is that with this to really use it right you have to use it in between your two hands so it's only after it's gone down that you start to use it to push out all of the air bubbles whereas that you're just able to use it with one hand and you're able to hold the back in as you peel it away and you can scrape it down whereas with that if you try to do that you find you get all of the pressure where you're holding it and then out at either side there isn't as much going in and so you end up with air bubbles in those areas hope that makes sense it kind of made sense to me next one along is the steel ruler uh, now we only use a small one because we only do small signs if you was doing larger signs you would obviously need one of like a meter long or whatever uh main reason we use these is just to mark lines and then we measure uh we don't use them for measuring out anything and getting it lined up we use the clear ones with that because then you're able to see where the edge of the sign is over the edge of your artwork and everything else like that so we use the clear ones to line everything up and we use the steel ones as a guideline and then we cut along it okay so everybody knows what a ruler is I don't need to say any more than that do I no nope. right fine next up knives we go through knives all the time uh, which is why we changed over to the cutting mats and underneath the cutting mats as you've seen in previous videos we got the glass work surface which is ideal because it keeps the knives going for longer and longer and longer now we use two sorts, we use large ones and we use the small ones. Small ones are used more for the cutter, where there's like a cutting guide, so after, after we have cut out our artwork, we then just do a little bit of like a feed through, and then there's a cutting guide, and we use a small one for that, it's ideal. Larger ones we use after we've, um, after we've applied the application tape, just put it in, and boom. Now we use these ones which have got the breakaways on them and we buy them in in packs like that six knives in there so you've got four of the large ones and two of the smaller ones and we buy these for one pound a pack in I think it's Poundland we get them from or it could be Pound World or it could be anywhere else but they're about a quid and we go through um, I'm trying to think now, maybe five or six breaks offs a week. It isn't a huge amount as we aren't making a huge amount of signs. But yeah, for just a quid, you really, really can't go wrong with them. Uh, next one we use, this is called a snitty. And it's a handy little tool. If I just grab an off cut of vinyl. Okay, so this is an off cut. Um, this was actually placed into 
the cutter after we'd cut the clove in vinyl and we hadn't changed the pressure on it so um, it ended up really destroying that piece of vinyl but anyway getting back to the snitty in there if you look you can see a razor blade um, that can be swapped around and it can be changed and everything else like that and all this does is it just cuts straight through your vinyl it is a handy little tool if you've got large amounts that you have to slice off and get rid of um, it's not very accurate on the smaller stuff and it really does come down to the skill of the operator on them but again they are just a couple of quid they're not hugely expensive but really really handy um, if you're doing the big wall arts and I have those laid out and they're all over the desk and then I have to slice it off the easiest way is just if I can hold it down at one end just pull it a little bit tight and then zzz, straight up it with that um, or a knife it don't really make a lot of difference but those everything's all enclosed out the way so yeah just works out well next up pair of scissors good pair of scissors are essential um, I don't have to tell you what they're used for you can work it out yourself can't you yep excellent right tweezers not used on the eyebrows used for little bits of intricate stuff where you're trying to pull up and weed out but you can't because your fingers are like mine and they're like huge but you need just a little something just to be able to get in there and just grab up all the little pieces and tweezers are ideal weeding tool these come in many different shapes sizes arrangements you can see ours is a double-ended weeding tool with a little bit of safety plastic on there just to make sure um, these are ideal if you can use these with tweezers you can weed out virtually anything um, obviously what you do I'll just grab another off cut is you just put it in it just hooks up the vinyl and it pulls it away it is super super easy if it starts to lift up any artwork that you've already cut you just use the end of it to press down that piece of artwork and that then holds it in place you can see I've just pressed straight through that one you obviously go eat a little bit easier but uh, yeah weeding tools this one cost us I think it was three quid on eBay or something crazy like that but um, yeah handy little gadgets to have very very useful easier than using tweezers and a pin as I've seen other people using in the past but I suppose at the end of the day it comes down to your personal preference uh, the other tool we use that isn't on display here is the guillotine ours is small I need to get myself an A3 one um, that will happen eventually but quite often when we cut out the uh, the A4 signs we would slice them out and you'll have edges which are a little bit off and I like to have everything square when I go to line it up on the panels so I just use that and that just squares up everything and gets it looking good lastly is one of these if you're in the UK you'll find that these are essential um, what it is is it's a Royal Mail pricing ruler so it lets you know if your item's going to go as a small parcel a uh, large letter or a letter if it squeezes in between that gap there it goes as a letter if it squeezes in this big one it goes as a large letter and anything larger would be small parcel um, and then you go up from there so these are really really handy if you're trying to work out how an item is actually going to be sent so yeah that is basically it if you've got these tools um, you're able to start up um, you don't need all of them you won't use all of them all of the time, but there are times where you will go, ah, oh, I could really do with a pair of tweezers. Uh, speaking of tweezers, actually, we've got different sorts that do different jobs. So we've got the small ones, we've got the medium ones, but are larger in your hands, and we've got the ones which have a flat point as opposed to having a, like a pointy point. So, um, Oh, excuse my fingernails. Uh, I have been working this morning. So yeah, that's basically it. So thanks for watching. Leave us a like, leave us a comment, subscribe, let the channel grow. And for 200, I don't know, we'll do something totally different. But uh, yeah, until the next video, bye-bye.